So Christmas is coming up really soon and in this video I'm going to give you a ton of ideas for what you can make for different people in your life. So let's get started. First of all, number one, a simple frame. Okay, you know all those posters that this person has been collecting? Well, make a really simple yet stylish frame by sandwiching two pieces of thin wood together for the top and the bottom of the paper. Then connect with some brass bolts and you have a pretty neat, modern looking display. Copper wire and wood shelf. You start by making a simple jig to bend 6 gauge copper wire. Then you shape the wire in position, staple the wire to the back of a piece of wood and bend around. This gift is particularly nice if the person has a little collection of objects that they like to display. Instead of having pictures laying in a drawer somewhere, this is an awesome way to display them, enjoy them and easily switch things around over time. I started with the piece of MDF for the backing, painted it black and then cut up some pieces of oak. The trick here is to cut a little groove on both sides of the middle pieces and on one side on the top and the bottom piece. I used a table saw but you could also use a router. Then the wooden strips are secured from the back with some nails. Making simple wooden holders for succulents or other flower pots is a great gift for someone who likes plants. The construction is simple, two layers overlapping each other, simply connected with nails. For the bottom, I just have some thin pieces of wood also nailed in place. At most woodworking stores, you can buy clock inserts or you could thrift an old clock and make it work. Here I'm using a piece of walnut and cutting out the hole for the clock on the CNC machine. Although this could be done with a large forster bit as well. Then it was all about cutting the shape on the bandsaw and you've got yourself a really nice little clock to put on a shelf or in a window. Okay, this simple little candle holder is made up of three pieces, two wooden triangles and a small piece of one inch copper pipe. I think these are especially nice if you make a couple and place them together. I'm using redwood for this tray, however any wood would work. And I think this is the type of tray which is perfect for organizing things in the home. You know, putting toiletries in the bathroom in a nice way, or keeping things in the kitchen or living room organized. This is a neat way to really take advantage of how cool copper pipes and fittings are. Instead of using solder, I'm just using hot glue to secure them together and then attach the wood against the wall, then place shelves on top, which you can also secure with some additional hot glue. This wood and epoxy board looks kind of impressive, I think. If you happen to have a thicker piece of wood around, maybe a slab, then, then that would be nice to use. I routed out rivers and then used turquoise stones to inlay. However, you could obviously also use epoxy with some different colored dyes in for a cool effect. This board is nice to serve snacks on or my favorite, group objects together on top of, like in the kitchen or the bathroom. For the person with a love of analog things, a nice desk caddy is quite the gift. This piece here is made simply with a nice chunk of maple, rounded over on the edges, with holes drilled on the drill press for pens and pencils. Add an old fashioned pencil sharpener and this is nice to keep on the desk. A simpler version would be just a block of wood with lots of holes drilled for pens. Combining wood and leather with a magnet, this pencil case is very unique and kind of cool. Using quarter inch stock, I cut up cherry pieces for a small pencil case, rounded the sides and carved out a little area for a magnet that I epoxied in. I cut up a small piece of leather and stitched it to the back and embedded another magnet in that piece. Perfect to bring on the go for the writer and why not pair it with a notebook for a nice gift. Taking the idea of regular furniture and undersizing it here, using MDF for the main structure, I created a little cubby system and brackets for a shelf. To contrast the MDF, some thin hardwood. Little hooks to hang things on and nice brass bolts for knobs. This is perfect for the person who has a lot of little supplies and likes to organize their things. Such a magical accent light, using a block of wood, a Christmas light bulb, and a set of fairy lights. This is made by drilling a hole in the wood, carving out a section for the battery pack on the underside, and then funneling through the wire from the battery to the bulb, securing with hot glue. Great gift for kids, but really for anyone who enjoys a nice atmosphere. 
If you happen to have a lathe and a kid who's into baseball, then why not make a bat? I glued together maple and walnut for a unique look and then turned this bat on my small lathe with the extension on. It's also nice to personalize a project like this. And I think this is pretty cool and would really be something for someone to treasure over the years. Step stool. If your kid is on the small side, reaching things can be hard, so why not make them their very own step stool? This is a pretty simple build, and of course it is easy to personalize with different woods or paints, that kind of thing, and you might as well have some fun with it. Lego is a lot of fun, but can also get everywhere, so why not build a nice box that can hold a bunch and that also has a plate glued on top for playing. I used Baltic birch plywood for this build and box joints for joinery. A divider inside and a sliding lid. Some walnut handles for contrast and then images just printed off the web that I decoupaged outside for fun. And you can always fill this box with more Lego. One idea is to go thrifting and then just give the pieces a light bleach bath and you've got a fun, complete gift. Jenga is a simple game of wooden blocks that you stack on top of each other and you try to build as high a tower as possible. So this is the lawn game version, however you could also build it smaller uh, for easier use inside. This project does require quite a lot of wood and it is nice to use hardwood if possible. However it is a fun game which is perfect for kids or a whole family. And the blocks can also be used by younger kids as blocks. <laughs> Making a wooden screw is a lot of fun, and by also making a small nut, this little toy is great for kids to practice spinning the nut up and down, but I think this would be great for fidgety adults as well. To create this you'll need a tap and die set, and they're available to buy in different sizes. If you're looking to make that perfect gift for the jewelry appreciator in your life, then making a nice box is a good idea. This box is made in mahogany and features a divider for different objects. If you like the idea of something to hold jewelry, but you don't want to go quite as ambitious as making an actual box, then perhaps building this little display thing would be a nice idea. Using a dowel and a piece of wood cut in a triangle, this can be attached to the wall and used to display rings, necklaces and bracelets on. A personally carved serving plate is quite a unique gift you're not going to find anywhere else. I began with gluing together some cherry and walnut and marked out where I wanted to carve out sections using a gouge. Then it's all about shaping and finishing the board. I think this would be particularly fun if the person has a special type of food they like and you make this with that in mind. If the cutting boards and sheet pens are constantly falling over at your house, then making this simple cutting board holder would be a nice present for whomever it annoys the most. Using only three pieces of wood, the sections are attached with pocket screws and plugs on the bottom. And it does a really nice job of organizing and keeping the boards in place. You can carve your own chopsticks with a small piece of wood and choose a nice wood species. What I like about this is you can customize these to fit the person and make them a little bit larger or smaller depending on the size of their hands. And it is a very unique and interesting gift for the foodie. If you have a lathe, then turning handles for different tools is a great idea. Most woodworking stores sell the metal parts for cheese knives, openers, spoons, etc. And then all you do is pick out a small piece of wood and turn a beautiful shape. I've given these away in the past and they are always appreciated. The perfect use of scrap wood. A cutting board is something that everybody needs. You can either go elaborate and do some crazy designs or you can go simple. One of my favorite boards here is this very clean one using maple and some walnut. And you can also you know, think like small cheese board as opposed to like a really big cutting board. A nice kitchen tray made in solid wood, perhaps designed specifically to hold a teapot and some cups. This tray was made with dados and the joints lock into each other. The bottom boards fit into a groove and altogether the design is pretty clean. Using some Baltic birch plywood, this tablet holder is perfect for the one who perhaps uses their tablet or phone to watch movies on or read recipes on when cooking in the kitchen and that kind of thing. You can so easily customize this endlessly and make it fit the person's needs perfectly. This is for the person who is constantly using their phone uh, to listen to music or podcasts on, but never wants to bother setting up a Bluetooth speaker. With this unit you simply place the phone in the speaker and get immediate better sound. I used concrete and wood to create this little unit. 
Most people have a hobby or an interest, and if you know someone who loves to write or paint or perhaps collect small objects, then making a box that can hold those things is a really nice and personal option. You could obviously go as simple or fancy as you'd like here. The main idea is to make a simple box, add some hinges and maybe a lock, and then decorate it in a way that fits that person. When you want to make something for the person who has everything, then why not go for a knife? You can find scales at any woodworking stores and then choose your wood and it's a pretty quick and nice gift. So a lot of people have something that they like to display, like a clock, a medal, something along those lines. This little holder is made in mahogany wood and features interlocking joinery and a little hook. A really simple yet effective display. Now making Christmas presents is the best, but every now and then it's nice to buy something as well. And my favorite this year is the Olight flashlight. So Olight is having a Black Friday flash sale with a lot of really good deals, including free gifts. All the details are in the description below. We're talking 30 to 45% off on a lot of their stuff. Uh, their flashlights are incredibly bright. This is their Seeker 2 Pro Orange. It has a max output of 3200 lumens with a 250 meter throw. It's powered by a 21,700 lithium rechargeable battery, which is recharged with this magnetic USB cable, which is kind of neat. OLED has a lot of different sizes and options within their collection, going from really tiny to tactical pieces and bigger ones. So yeah, go check them out. I think this is an ideal gift for pretty much anyone. The quality is far superior to other flashlights out there and their Black Friday deals are pretty sweet. Um, another thing which would be great for Christmas is one of my beeswax polishes that I make here in my shop. I also think this would make a great like stocking stuffer. So I offer three different ones, 100% tang oil, raw linseed oil, and then I have the mineral oil beeswax polish, which is uh, food safe. And this is what I use for pretty much all of my kitchen related projects. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some good ideas. It's definitely time to get started on making things. Some things take a little bit longer, some things are a little bit quicker, but it's always nice to not be rushing like the day before Christmas. But I've done that many times as well. <laughs> so sometimes that's what you gotta do. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm also going to put a playlist down there. Some of the present ideas that I mentioned are previous videos, not all of them, but some of them. So I'm going to make a playlist where I include all of those videos as well. If you'd like to, you know, take a look at something in a little bit more detail. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.